Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Rulers and Buildings. Question number 1. The Qutub Minar was constructed by whom? Option A. Shah Jahan. Option B. Jahangir. Option C. Humayu. Option D. Kutbudi Naibak. The correct answer is Option D. Kutbudi Naibak. Kutub Minar was constructed by Kutbudi Naibak. He had this constructed around 1199. Question number 2. What are the step wells constructed in certain areas were called? Option A. Bavalis. Option B. Well. Option C. Kibla. Option D. Pond. The correct answer is Option A. Bavalis. Between the 8th and 13th centuries, the Trabiate style was used in the construction of temples, mosques, tombs, and in buildings attached to large stepped wells. Bavalis. Question number 3. Why were the Bavalis constructed? Option A. To provide a place for bathing for royals. Option B. To fulfill the water demands. Option C. For rainwater harvesting. Option D. For entertainment of royals. The correct answer is. Option C. For rainwater harvesting, the Bavlis were constructed for rainwater harvesting. They were large stepped wells attached to buildings. Question number 4. Divanai Khaso Am Courts were also described as what? Option A. Chaharbag. Option B. Chihil Sutun. Option C. Pistak. Option D. Pistak. The correct answer is Option B. Chihil Sutun. The ceremonial halls of public and private audience, Divanai Khasoam, were carefully planned. Placed within a large courtyard, these courts were also described as Chihil Sutun or 40 pillared halls. Question number 5. The Agra fort was built by whom? Option A. Shah Jahan. Option B. Akbar. Option C. Jahangir. Option D. Babar. The correct answer is Option B. Akbar. The Agra fort was built by Akbar. The Agra fort required 2,000 stone cutters, 2,000 cement and lime makers, and 8,000 laborers. Question number 6. Who had constructed Hawza Sultani? Option A. Sultanil Tutmish. Option B. Raziya. Option C. Kutubuddin Aibak. Option D. Ghiyasuddin Balban. The correct answer is. Option A. Sultanil Tutmish. Sultanil Tutmish won universal respect for constructing a large reservoir just outside Dehli Aikuhana. It was called the Hawzai Sultani or the King's Reservoir. Question number 7. When was the Taj Mahal in Agra was completed? Option A. 1720. Option B. 1643. Option C. 1667. Option D. 1665. The correct answer is Option B. 1643. The Taj Mahal at Agra was completed in 1643. Question number 8. Which Pandayan king invaded Sri Lanka? Option A. King Sena I. Option B. Sri Mara Sri Vallabha. Option C. King Rajendra. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. 
Shri Mara Shri Vallabha. In the early 9th century when the Pandayan king Shri Mara Shri Vallabha invaded Sri Lanka and defeated the king, Sena I. Question number 9. How did kings win the praise at their subjects? Option A. By making structure for their use. Option B. By distributing wealth. Option C. By distributing grains and foods. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. By making structure for their use. They won the praise of their subjects by making structures for their use and comfort such as temples, mosques, tanks, wells, caravanserais and bazaars. Question number 10. When was the Kandariya Mahadev temple constructed? Option A. 870. Option B. 999. Option C. 985. Option D. 965. The correct answer is Option B. 999. The King Dhangadeva constructed Kandariya Mahadeva Temple in 999. Question number 11. Where was the Raj Rajeshwara Temple constructed? Option A. Tanjavur. Option B. Kolkata. Option C. Delhi. Option D. Madras. The correct answer is Option A. Tanjavur Raja Raja Deva built Raj Rajeshwara Temple in Tanjavur. Question number 12. What is a Shikhara? Option A. The outermost pointed portion of a temple. Option B. The topmost pointed portion of a temple. Option C. The innermost part of a temple. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. The topmost pointed portion of a temple. A shikhara was the topmost pointed portion of a temple. Question number 13. Who constructed the Kandariya Mahadev temple? Option A. King Raman. Option B. King Dhanush. Option C. King Dhangadeva. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option C. King Dhangadeva. The King Dhangadeva constructed Kandariya Mahadeva Temple in 999. Question number 14. Why was limestone cement used in construction of large structures? Option A. Very low quality cement. Option B. Very high quality cement. Option C. Very high quality marvel chips. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Very high quality cement. Limestone cement was very high quality cement, which, when mixed with stone chips hardened into concrete. This made construction of large structures easier and faster. Question number 15. Which temple was built by Raja Raja Deva? Option A. Raja Rajeshwara Temple. Option B. Meenakshi Temple. Option C. Kandariya Mahadev Temple. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Raja Rajeshwara Temple. Raja Raja Deva built Raja Rajeshwara Temple in Tanjavur. Question number 16. When was the tomb of Humayu constructed? Option A. 1545 to 1560. Option B. 1548 to 1597. Option C. 1562 to 1571. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option C. 1562 to 1571. The tomb of Humayu was constructed between 1562 and 1571.
Question number 17. What is the special feature of Fatehpur Sikri, Akbar's capital? Option A. Building show the influence of the architectural style of British. Option B. Building show the influence of the architectural style of Gujarat and Malwa. Option C. Building show the influence of the architectural style of Mughal style. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Building show the influence of the architectural style of Gujarat and Malwa. In Fatehpur Sikri many of the buildings show the influence of the architectural styles of Gujarat and Malwa. Question number 18. What is Pietra Daura? Option A. Colored hard stones. Option B. Religious book. Option C. Cutting of marvels. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Colored hard stones. Pietra Dura refers to the colored hard stones placed in depressions carved into marble or sandstone which create beautiful ornament patterns. Question number 19. What were the elements of Mughal Chahar Bagh garden? Option A. It consists of four gardens divided into four quarters by artificial channels. Option B. It consists of three gardens divided into four quarters by artificial channels. Option C. It consists of ten gardens divided into four quarters by artificial channels. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. It consists of four gardens divided into four quarters by artificial channels. Mughal Chahar Baghs consist of four gardens. These gardens are placed within rectangular walled enclosures and divided into four quarters by artificial channels. Question number 20. What were Havelis? Option A. Small houses of soldiers. Option B. Big fort of king. Option C. Large mansion of the merchants. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option C. Large mansion of the merchants. Havelis were large mansions of the merchants. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.